Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming back at you with another review video. Um, today I'd like to talk about Lucifer, um, the TV show that originally aired on Fox. Um, it was based on the Sandman comics, and Fox had made the unintelligent decision to cancel it. And thankfully, millions of people stepped up and... Um, asked for a change, and thank goodness Netflix stepped in. Um, so now it's going to be a Netflix original, starting with season four. That's hopefully going to be um, added soon this year. So the show is, first of all, I want to tell all the religious people that watch the video that it's not a satanic show. It's based on a com comic book series. Just like The Walking Dead, and just like um, Sabrina and Riverdale, and you know, a bunch of other shows. Um, and it is um, a procedural show that happens to have biblical characters in the show. Um, and the story is absolutely fantastic, it's amazing, I love it. Um, it definitely has you emotionally invested. I think that um, Tom Ellis is the perfect choice for Lucifer. I think that he is doing an excellent job. I think that I actually love every single character on the show for their own reasons. Um, <clears throat> and I really can't wait to see what happens with season four because season three was probably the most um, obnoxious cliffhanger. If if the show would have been canceled on season three without being renewed or picked up by another network, that would really suck because they left it on such a cliffhanger that the audience, you know, you want to see more. Um, it's an amazing show. Um, and the show is going to go from 22 episodes back down to 10 because that's what Netflix's um, format is, is around 10 episodes. But that's perfectly fine. At least it's renewed. At least the story is going to continue. And we're going to find out the... Um, we're going to find out what happens after that massive cliffhanger. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but that was kind of really crazy at the end there. And for them to just cancel it like that, with a cliffhanger like that, was ridiculous. I, Fox dropped the ball. It was one of the best shows and one of the only great shows that Fox has on their network, other than 911. Um, and they dropped the ball. They absolutely dropped the ball. I don't know who the boss was that was in charge of um, of canceling Lucifer to begin with. You you didn't make a very intelligent decision. That was it's just my opinion. Um, and millions of other people, obviously. Uh, and thank you, Netflix. Thank you for saving such an amazing show. And. All the, the, all the Lucifer fans are amazing for, you know, stepping up and really making a change. I think that that's entirely awesome. I think that I would have been most happy. I was hoping that either the CW Network or Netflix would pick it up. And there's, I mean, the CW would have done an amazing job. They would have done, you know, their standard 22 episodes a season and all that good stuff. But because it airs on TV, I don't think that it that um, they would have given it the f as much freedom as Netflix is going to. Because Netflix really doesn't care about censorship and standards and all that other stuff. And I'm really glad that they said that they're going to stay with the spirit of the show... You know, because that's what fans loved and saved. And, um, I'm really glad about that. And, um, yeah. Either the CW or Netflix, Netflix got it, which is awesome. I'm really happy that I just can't even imagine 
first of all, the third, like, each season gets better, in my opinion. Like, obviously, the first season, you have to introduce the characters, so it's a little bit slower, and then it gets really, really good. And then the second season, the second season was fantastic. Um, the third season was a roller coaster. And especially there at the end, it was an insane roller coaster, and it was so emotional and so intense. And um, I think that everybody did an excellent job. I can't wait to binge watch the fourth season when Netflix releases it. I highly recommend it. It's one of my all-time favorite shows. I mean, I can't even describe how much I love the show. I'm, it's kind of borderline obsession, but that's okay. Um, and I can't imagine it ending in three seasons. I just, I, especially with the cliffhanger that I had, I can't even imagine. So, watch it. It's excellent. It's a procedural show, mostly with biblical characters added onto it. There's not any satanic stuff in there for everyone that's worried about you know religious things and being offended and everything who cares about your opinion really but um because i heard that uh an organization was trying to have it removed from fox because uh, it was glorifying lucifer it was not glorifying lucifer you obviously didn't do your research because it's based on a comic book series. It was not glorifying. It was not glorifying Satan. It was not saying that he was the best thing in the universe. This show shows his flaws. And um, it's not preachy or pushy or anything like that. So I don't know. Maybe you need to reevaluate yourself if you're that offended. Because... The show has nothing at all to do with glorifying Lucifer. Um, so, I think that everyone should check it out. It's amazing. It's an excellent show. Um, it's actually more of a comedy procedural show than anything. It does have action. Um... And it has an excellent story. All the all the characters are really good. All the characters are written up, you know, great. Everyone has flaws. Everyone has strengths. Um, and um, I just I love everybody on the show. It's amazing. And whoever thought of doing it, because um, Lucifer was part of the same man series, a comic book series, and he wasn't even. I guess the main character, but whoever created the show obviously liked his character in the comic books because they made a huge hit show out of it that millions of people love, and that's fan freaking tastic because I can't even imagine television or Netflix without Lucifer, um, the show. Again, it's not satanic. It's hilarious. It has story. It has... A little bit of everything for everybody. It, I mean, Lucifer does have his moments where um, he goes from comedy to straight up serious, but the show is very lighthearted and it's excellent. It's not. I don't know, he's not a demon all the time and. You know, roar and trying to rip people's faces off all the time and all this extra nonsense. Like, everybody assumes that it is because it's Lucifer and you're religious and blah, who cares? Um, <clears throat> that show, that's more like the Lucifer and Sabrina, I mean, is a little bit more of that than Lucifer and Lucifer. Um,. And I, I can't wait. I heard that Eve was supposed to be in the fourth season. That's exciting. Um, I saw pictures of the actress, and she's very, very beautiful. Um, 
and from the promo clip that they showed she you know had a great personality to her the actress did so i think that would be a fun addition to the cast and everything and to the show um i really hope that at some point lucifer um introduces lilith because um sabrina the chilling adventures of sabrina um got to tell got to uh, introduce and tell her backstory and everything which is really never done before so i think that lucifer could have a very um a very cool a lot of potential when it comes to that i mean um lilith is supposed to be mazikeen's mother uh and i love mazikeen she is amazing maze is amazing and um one of my favorite characters she's really pretty epic um probably my favorite character on the show is linda she is the most hilarious but most human person on the entire show. She's the therapist. She's Lucifer's therapist. Yes, Lucifer goes to therapy. And um, she, she really is the heart. I don't want to say the heart of the show, but she is the heart of the show. She... Everyone has their own greatness when it comes to the show, and I love everybody on the show, but Linda really, Linda's my favorite character. Um, she's like the Hilda of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina to me. Hilda is my favorite on that, on that show. So I think that, um, well, I'm pretty excited. I, I love the storyline that they've had for everyone um and i can't wait to see what the season four holds so i'm excited if you want to talk about it just comment and i'll respond to all of your comments hopefully and because i love talking about the show lucifer is amazing um make sure you like share subscribe and until next time guys have a great day